Okay, guys. Well, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I actually have, for the first time, we were just talking off camera a little bit on my channel, another yogi who also is carnivore. So um, we're going to talk about that today. But if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and introduce yourself to everyone. Thank you for coming on. Okay. Thank you very much. Sarah. It's a pleasure for me. And my name is Bruno. Um, I was born in Brazil with a European background, so my family is like Italian, Croatian, and I'm living in Europe this last 14 years. I'm living in Denmark now and teaching there, and I teach yoga since 2001, so I have some experience yeah, teaching. Yeah, and currently I am in Tenerife. I'm teaching most of my classes now online, so I can travel and teach from anywhere for now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in, in about my, my diet, it was a transition. It was a very, very critical transition because I was vegetarian for 16 years, including four years of, of veganism. And I was even making videos spreading vegetarianism on my YouTube channel. I was uh, raising my daughters to be vegetarian and, and talking about everything that I could to, to create a healthy diet and a environmentally uh, friendly diet. And after a while, a while, I realized that it was not healthy for me. Mm. And I was very uh, surprised because everything I was studying, it was showing vegetarianism is the best. And yeah, after, I don't know, turn, I don't know, 36, 37 years old, I start to rethink, I have to, to open my mind, rethink, look, I'm practicing regularly. I'm a very active person. I'm thinking, I, I think I eat very healthy and something is wrong with my, my health, you know, my, my joints, my muscles, uh, my mind, I, I was, you know, with some foggy mind, difficult to meditate or sometimes without my uh, normal lively spirits I'm very active and happy all the time so I, I was thinking something is wrong so I need to, to rethink what I'm doing and then I start to research and I realized that some people that I met that they were vegetarian they were sick as well so for example my teachers some of them were, I, I think, 25 years vegetarian mm -hmm. and start to have some serious problems in their joints as well and other immune uh, disease. And, and then I was curious to, to read about. Then I, st I started to read and, and finally I was understanding that, you know, too much insulin in my system, it was not healthy for me. It was very inflammatory. And then after like about four months of crisis, because it was against everything I was leaving, mm -hmm. I, I decided to, to give a try and see how I feel and, and my muscles, my joints, my health, my weight, my body fat. And then I, I tried. I remember my daughter, when she saw me eating meat, <laughs> she was in, in shock. Like... I was another person. I can't believe you were eating that. And after, I think, four to six months, my uh, everything in, in my body was different. Mm. I, not only about my feeling, my, my strength and my, my joints, because I'm teaching, sometimes I'm teaching five classes per day. That's so it, it's heavy. Yeah. So I can feel the difference about my, my recovery, my muscles and my tendons, my joints. It was very clear. And I start to sleep better. I, I dropped my body fat from 18% to 10%. Wow. So I, I start to be ripped again, like it was, like, I think, you know, 20 years ago. And I thought, wow, there's something that I really didn't understand before. Mm. And then I start to research more and more because Many of the questions came with this, this change, like, and about the environment, 
Uh, because as a yogi, we are always thinking about satya to be truth. Yeah. I think that's why I think it's important to, to open up to the students and say, hey, it's true, I'm eating meat. What I would say to you, no, I'm, I, I know there's many fakes uh, vegetarians that are hiding. But yeah. I started to open up and I started rethinking what is the, the meaning of ahimsa? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I think it was uh, a journey that it's, it makes me really happy, actually, because I start to, to rethink, you know, the, the genetic design of the humans, and I start to read and watch some documentaries about the, the evolution, and I start to realize, you see, whales, they eat fish, and there are many types of animals in the planet, and the... And the the chain of, of uh, this is natural yes. to exchange this energy. And, and I know that this, it's sad, it's violent, it seems to be very aggressive to eat another animal, even fish, but is, is something that is our genetic design. So it, it fits like a glove. That's, that's what I realized. If you imagine a dolphin and I'm, I'm here in Tenerife, there's a lot of dolphins and many types of dolphins that I was reading more about lately. And imagine if you stopped to give fish for dolphins and start to give apples and, I don't know, a broccoli. Right. They, they'll become sick because they were not designed to eat that. It's not natural for them. Yeah. So that's what I start to observe. I think it's what is ahimsa? Is to respect your nature. Yeah. Or, or preserve the life of the others and harming your own life. Mm -hmm. And then you are a, a worst person, I think, for, for not only about your, your phys physical health, but about your, your motivation, your inspiration, your creativity. I, I, I realize that, you know, during this year's teaching and, and practicing and participating in retreats, I was never meditating so well, so comfortably. So this idea of changing the, the energy uh, supply from, from carbs, sugars to fat, it was like rebirth. It was, I was thinking better, sleeping better. And then I think nowadays that it's, it's much healthier. Maybe we have some genetic variations depending on the different population. Maybe people are more or less adapted for other types of food. But I think in general, uh, fat, it's, it's healthier for us as a source of energy. Mm -hmm. yeah. I agree. I agree. And there's so, I mean, there's so much to unpack with what you've said because um, I have had very similar experience and, you know, when I was trying to teach and practice a lot, I don't know about you, but I would get an injury and it just wouldn't go away. I mean, I was from doing too much chaturanga and doing it probably the, not the best way. I would get this terrible shoulder pain and it would last for what seemed like months and months. It just would not heal when I was vegan. Um, and I didn't, you know, now that I am carnivore, it's like, if I have a problem, usually it heals pretty quickly as long as I get good sleep and I get good nutrition. Um, it's amazing how fast my body has that ability to heal because I think that, yeah, how are you going to heal all of the, you know, what's this made of, you know, what is our body made of? We need the animal fats, those healthy nutrients in order to allow our bodies to heal. So did you have experiences like that when you were teaching and practicing as vegan vegetarian? Yes, exactly. I think my, my, my main mistake, you know, I, I think as most of yoga teachers, I, I was very, I, I, nowadays I, I don't use so much this word, but I think I was much more spiritual. I was eating more intuitively. I think quinoa is healthy, <laughs> uh, and rucola, and seagrass, seaweed, and, and if I eat that, I think I will get all the prana, all the energy I need. Mm -hmm. And 
I think my main mistake in the, in the for a long period of time, it was I was not eating enough protein. Mm -hmm. uh, I was eating soya protein that I think nowadays is, is very unhealthy. Mm -hmm. And I think I was eating at most, I don't know, 20 grams of protein per day. Mm. And I think for my size, I should eat at least 80, 90 grams of protein per day. Yeah. So I think if you don't eat enough protein, it doesn't matter if it's vegetarian or, or animal protein, but if you don't eat your minimum amount, you don't have materials to rebuild your tissue. Yes. And if, and if you have less muscles, you don't burn calories, so you start to, to store fat. Mm -hmm. So it's a process of inflammation. So when I, I start to rethink my diet and when I stop to be vegan and I start to eat eggs again, mm -hmm. I, I was feeling like from a couple weeks, I was feeling Hulk. Like just because the essential amino acids because as vegetarian, you don't have all the amino acids. I know that a lot of people say, no, you can have all the nutrition. But I, I felt completely different in my chaturanga, in my recovery, yeah. and the muscle mass itself. Because I think more muscle mass you have, and practicing with right activations and protecting your body, you don't hurt yourself. Yeah. If you constantly is depleting your body from protein, then you start to to like have some bad autophagy. Like you are yeah. using the muscle mass as a source of energy, and then you never recover. Yeah. Tendons and joints, painful. Nowadays, I don't have any pain. I'm older. I don't have any pain. I practice daily. Uh, Ashtanga, Hatha, or calisthenics, I'm swimming, I'm very active, mm -hmm. and no pain. Yeah. yeah. And, and I really feel, I, I'm also practicing something that I, I think it's a good combination with the carnivorous that I'm doing, fasting. Mm -hmm. I'm fasting mostly every day, like my first meal is after 2 p.m. And sometimes, like once a month, I do... 48 or 72 hours of fasting in last a couple weeks ago i did five days and a half of fasting i saw on your instagram you were <laughs> talking yeah. about that yeah and showing how you were still staying active and um doing quite so, well i i think my body is now it's very well adapted to to fat as a source yeah. of energy so when I'm fasting and I'm, I prepare my mind as well, because I think the main obstacle it's, yeah. is our programmation. Like, oh, I need to eat. But when you, you are prepared and your body is well adapted, I have some stores here. So <laughs> yeah. we, can, we can stay. If your body is really able to use that as a source of energy, I was doing everything, teaching and doing all my activities was not feeling uh, ease or, or weak, nothing. Yeah, can be a very good experience as well. So yeah. maybe it's also a contribution because I think if you just eat meat like in crazy amounts all the time, I oh, think yeah. it's, not, it's not healthy. You eat too much meat for sure. I agree with you on that. That's definitely not a good idea. <laughs> yeah. And I'm also sure. it, was, uh, it was important for me uh, to observe that the meat, the muscle meat, mm -hmm. uh, pork, fish, any, any animal, if you're eating just, and I know this is very controversial, many people will see this video, I think, in the future and, and can be shocked. But what happens when we have some multivitamins, very, very uh, artificial types and non-identical non, uh, biologically for your body, it's completely different when you have really nutritious food. Mm -hmm. So I felt younger and, and my skin was better when I started to eat organ meat. Yes, I agree. Because muscle meat, you have what? Creatine, some B12, some iron, but there's a lot of, lot of vitamins. Mm -hmm. So I include in my, my diet 
at least twice a week liver or other organ meat or codfish liver and it's completely something different completely changed my 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 health yeah i agree i think it is very controversial i'm not sure why though <laughs> but it is controversial and i feel you know when I, if i can get uh sweetbreads or thymus my sleep is amazing when i can ever get this this they're harder to get um but i do eat liver a couple times a week and i you know i've gone through periods where i didn't eat the organ meats and now it's just part of what i do i actually enjoy them now and i didn't really before but i i start i think enjoying them because of the way they make me feel um and now i actually do like the taste but it, is, it has taken me a little bit of time to get into that camp i guess you could say yeah 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 so I'm dealing with that in my, my Instagram, my YouTube for asking because I was producing some, some contents, try to, to show up because sometimes I think people are, are, how can I say, they, they create some, some fundamental truth of this is truth and mm -hmm. you cannot change that. Yeah. And, and yeah, I, I think I was, that's why I said it was critical for me, like for four, six months, I was denying, no, no, it's impossible. I need to find a way. No, I'm, I was not, you know, a, a beginner vegetarian. I was for 16 yeah. years. Yeah. I, 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 I knew all the nuts you can eat, all the seagrass, chlorella, spirulina, everything, uh, uh, yeast, everything. And I, I realized that there's no, it's different from animal fat. Yeah even for this this type of uh, bio-identical vitamins you can have in organ meat it's, it's different i was taking pills and multivitamins before oh, yeah. and it's completely different yeah yeah so i think i i um i start to to consider more as a ahimsa this uh primal uh genetic design uh, observing what we what we ate in the past like uh, bone broth for example is the best way I think it is to, to break a fast and some people think this is crazy how can you eat that and then I realized that people are so how can I say incarnated in a you know perspective of a citizen in this contemporary world, they, they forgot that we are animals. Right, we are how we evolved. Yeah, and we've been living in this planet for a long period of time. Yeah. We have a, uh, a story, see, it's not, it's not like that. I, I think some, some vegetarians, they know that if you start just to eat, I don't know, eat or grains, it's unsustainable for your health. Yeah. But, I, I don't know. I think even even if you talk about the env environmental impact, right? Because this, this was critical as well. I was thinking, okay, the, the meat industry is bad, the chicken industry is bad, eggs industry is bad. But then I start to have to find some research showing the impact of agriculture. For example, in in Brazil, when the, when you have like mass production of corn wheat, soya, and all that is damaging the soil. The, the, wild, the wild animals they get impact, yeah, not only about the insects that they are dying, but you know, all the birds around, all the, the little monkeys, nice. the little mammals around. Yes. And it's, I think, in, in my perspective, that's even worse because it's, it's wild animals. Yes. So when, when you when you buy when you think you you buy a package of rice and think it's is pure from pain and pure pure from suffering, you are contributing as well for extinction of birds and and you know the animals. The agriculture will also have some impact, and yeah. people want to believe there is no impact. Right. Because rice. It is no no animal, so I can I'm not killing, but they are as well. 
Yeah, that's what people really don't understand. And there, it's just not black and white. People, I think they want that black and white answer, either you're eating a vegetable or you're eating an animal, but it's like, if you're eating vegetable, more than likely you're, there were a lot of deaths in order to produce that salad there that you're eating. And that's, that was hard for me as well as a yogi and yoga teacher um, was that ahimsa, the non-harming or non-violence. And I still get people, I know that you do too quite a bit um, since you've come out with your story about being, you know, mainly carnivore, and people just angry and saying, you're a murderer and you're this, that, and the other. And it's like, they, they want that easy story, the black and white story. And then, you know, we haven't talked about this a whole lot, but um, if you study like the Vedas and some of the yogic texts, uh, they would talk about milk and honey being yogic foods and ghee. Um, all of these foods that come from animals were considered like yogic foods. And in the Vedas, they used meat uh, as healing, Ayurvedic medicine, meat for healing. And so I don't understand why people have kind of left all of that stuff out very conveniently when they talk about yoga and they talk about um, the practice, you know? Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's a, it's a short answer and, and they, they tend, I don't know, for many reasons, maybe political reasons as well, I don't know. They, they were, they're tending to, to forget this. I, I, I think I posted on my highlights and, and Instagram because I, I found the, the name of these the scriptures, of uh, Ayurvedic scriptures, recommending, uh, stating the meat as the supreme food. Yeah. It, it was controversial because I, you know, I, even teaching for many years, I never uh, reached that, that knowledge. You know, right. I, I, and I was in India studying and never I heard about that in Ayurveda there's recommendation for eating meat mm -hmm. so i think there's there's a i, I don't i don't want to you know recommend everybody should be uh, carnivore or eating meat you know what i'd like to say is i think we always need to be open-minded mm -hmm. always try test your own genetics some people can deal better with milk some people can deal better with uh, cheese or or fish. What I realized, I, I, I think, I, I, to be trying to be less controversial. What I realized, and it's it's clear in my pictures and my performance in general, that for me, I can't achieve the same performance, the same uh, plenitude, vegetarian. No. I can't. No. no. And, and I think if people consider are considering to try, maybe they will find their own. Uh, style you see i I'm, I'm eating for example I, I usually i have some chlorella and spirulina in my my diet so i'm not completely carnivore i have some green leaves see and i think make me somehow uh, metabolic flexible mm -hmm. i I don't, I don't feel that my, I lost my capacity of digest carbs. In general, I, I don't eat, but I think I include some carbs in my diet, so I can eat. So I feel that I am more, as I said, more primal. Yeah. I'm not eating by, by intuition. I try to observe, hey, I need to eat at least 80 grams of protein. I need to, to be aware of my essential vitamins. And yeah, I think if people are start to think more about that, yeah, probably because I'm still a dreamer, probably we will have a better society. Mm -hmm. we, we see a lot of people with uh, anxiety, depression, and people so aggressive in many countries protesting about different topics and without capacity of empathy or compassion. Mm -hmm. And I think if you're not respecting your own nature, if you're not respecting your body, your, your, 
how your brain works, it's difficult to respect the others. It's, it's difficult to respect, you know, the environment or other political views. So it was a, a, a crazy change, you know. Even my, my daughters nowadays, they can, because I, I, I said to them, I think that was wrong. <laughs> that was wrong. It happens. And I think they, they noticed that I'm, I'm healthier. Mm -hmm. And the older one, her name is Shakti. Oh, and the older one, <laughs> yes, she, she was in shock in the beginning, but after a while she tried as well. And I think for her health, it was amazing as well. Mm. Because, you know, insulin, high insulin all the time, all the vegetarian food all the time, I think it's, it's a natural for us. Yeah. So it's something to consider. Yeah. Well, you know, India has one of the highest rates of diabetes in the world. And that doesn't get talked about if what an unhealthy, you know, the people there are, number one, they're in abject poverty, a lot of them. So we need to acknowledge that there's not availability of a lot of things, but it's the largest vegetarian country, the largest sample size of vegetarians that we have. And it's also the largest number of people with diabetes in the world. So, um, you know, we need to rethink these things. And, and I love that you tell your daughters, you know, I changed my mind. I think it's a sign of strength and intelligence when we can be open-minded and change our mind about things that maybe we have been very close-minded to for, you know, it's a sign of intelligence. It really is. <laughs> But it was, it, I was, I'm still listening a lot of bully from my family <laughs> because my family was, I don't, I can't believe so much you were talking about to avoid meat and now yeah. we were eating even liver. Yes. So how, can, how can we know <laughs> that what you know now is true? <laughs> like, I, said, I don't know. Maybe I yeah. change in the future. Like. It's, it's important to open yourself to try. And, and yeah. Because yeah. We, I think when you establish this fundamental truth, uh, or you are very right, and you can live, I don't know, 120 years old, healthy and, and strong, or you are very wrong, right? And, and I, I, I see, I, I was living in different countries, Portugal, France, uh, Croatia, and I realized you know, that there are some healthy problems very well connected with their diets. I, I, don't, I don't know any data, for example, about this COVID thing happening, but I was observing, also maybe a bit, it's a speculation, that the countries, for example, in Croatia, Croatia, they, they, they used to, to eat naturally some organ meat mm -hmm. and they eat a lot of fish and very nutritious food. Croatia, as I know, it was the, the last uh, problematic country uh, talking about COVID in Europe. They are very strong people. They have sun, eating very healthy food, no disease. And in the places where they're eating a lot of pasta, a lot of... Uh, very, very food without vitamins mm, yeah they, they are depleted from vitamins so they cannot you know they don't have a strong immune system so i don't know if the data will come in the future but in my observation i think it's another proof that you know more more nutritious diet it's 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 healthier for us you know in general system yeah yeah uh, one thing I wanted to ask you, because you mentioned Denmark is kind of where you are, is it, I feel like, and I could be wrong, that that's like a very large kind of vegan community that um, they're pr kind of extreme. Am I wrong or right? Or I, When I arrived there, you know, you can see a hot dog uh, truck in every corner almost. Okay. <laughs> that was, I, I, I arrived there, still vegetarian. And I was thinking, my God, this country, it's so evolved. People are so, um, 
can I say? They, they have some social justice. Everybody has more or less the same salary. It's a very safe country. You have health, uh, education. You have everything there. It, it works. But they're still eating meat. <laughs> Poor people, why? They, they are still so violent eating meat. <laughs> And, and and pork meat, I think, is the, the biggest consumption of pork meat in the world. Ah. Yeah, they eat a lot. Of, and they, they have a very uh, specific diet, I think, comparing, I don't know, for other countries like Portugal or, or Italy, they eat much little, yeah, mm. much less. In, in Denmark, because they bike a lot. So I think you don't want to eat a lot and go biking after. So they, they eat a, a little steak or, or sausage. I think this is the main food there. Okay. And yeah, it's very cold as well. So mm. I think they, they probably you know, respecting their ancestors and Vikings, they, they eat you know fatty fish, salmon and other fishes and pork was rich in fat. So then when I was, was I was rethinking my diet, then I, I was thinking, ah, so maybe they they know something. They know they know something that it's working because they, they are living. Uh, they have a good expect, expectancy of life there. It's not like Japan, Okinawa Island, but they they live very very healthy. And. Yeah, in general, I think the diet is very good. I think there is some community of, of veganism there, mm -hmm. but you know, as I, I see in my my people around me, it's very normal for them to eat some some liver butter ah. since kids. So they, they they have very nutritious food. And talking about COVID again, I think they they were very 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 yeah. Not much people were, were very heated by the COVID era. And, and there is not obligate, obligatory the use of masks. Ah. So I, I, it's a huge debate about that. People are saying that it's oh, yeah. very important to use, but as we can see there, it's not so important. Hmm. They practice social distancing and, and I don't know, I think I don't know. As I said, I don't. I don't know the the data and, and all the science. But what I can see is, if you have a very strong immune system, it, it will be very difficult to have some disease. And talking about other immune diseases as well, like mm -hmm. uh, Alzheimer, other disease, Parkinson. I think there, as I know, these diseases are connected with decades of consumption of high sugar diets. Yeah. yeah. And as I know, the research showing that when you, for example, use the coconut oil, you can improve in even the symptoms of Alzheimer or other disease. So as I said, for me, it, it was a huge change talking about my meditation, my inspiration, my productivity to, to have uh, more f fat in my system and omega trees. Yeah, and, and as I said, I'm as to a dreamer as a yogi. I'd like to to live in the world without injustice and violence. But I think I, I see that people without you know. That's why I think yoga it's it's a a, a, a travel inside. Yeah. If if people with they cannot first think about healing themselves and try to impose to the others what is right and wrong. And then we will live in constant conflicts. And yeah, so I feel much better in many, in many aspects in my life. And I, what I recommend to my students is uh, be sure you are doing your best to uh, Build your longevity, you know, to, to respect your joints practicing. Don't destroy your joints. Yes. Don't, uh, don't be afraid of adaptations because some people, they are so strict in the way they are teaching as well. Mm -hmm. and you cannot adapt. 
if you have problems or if you need preparatory versions of a yoga pose, for example. So I think it's the same with the diet. Mm -hmm. Have your nutrition, think about the, the, what we know the body needs to have, uh, you know, uh, plenitude functioning very well in all the metabolic aspects. And what I see is people are becoming happier. Yes. And, and more kind. Yes. And sometimes, you know, when I was studying yoga in the beginning in the, in the region of the south of Brazil, but a lot of people were vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And they were, and, and vegan as well. And they were so aggressive. Yes. You know, I, and then I think they, they should, this is not yogi as well. This is not no, yoga. No. How are you going to impose? Where's the compassion? Right. Like they, they were behaving like they were superior. Like yes. we, we have a knowledge and doesn't matter if they were, not, if, if they were looking, you know, sick. Yeah, they, I agree. They had the truth, see? Yeah. So. That's the biggest thing that I've encountered. Um, I kind of already felt that there was that attitude already before I became carnivore and before I put my story out there. Um, but since, you know, and I don't know how you feel about this, but <clears throat> since I have created my YouTube and my Instagram and, and been saying I'm a yoga teacher and I eat mostly meat, um, I get attacked from a lot of people who call themselves yogis and, you know, say a lot of nasty things to me, but then they say that they're also a yoga teacher or a yogi. And I'm like, that's not yoga to be, to judge someone else and to call someone else not spiritual, you know, and, and that to me, that's in my opinion, that's not yoga to take on those attitudes. Yeah, and, and sometimes can be scary because, you know, there's a lot of yogis. That's why I think sometimes the, the, the word spiritual, yeah. it's so controversial because yeah. there, for example, schizophrenia or, or epilepsy. I think the keto diet, as I know, was yeah. discovered to treat epilepsy. Yes. If you, if you don't... Uh, give carbs and sugars for somebody with epilepsy and have a keto diet, they stop to have seizures. Yes. So what? So the people that born with a problem with epilepsy, they are uh, bad spirits. Right. Yeah, they, they need to have animal fat. And the other, all the other humans are superior because they're, they have bad, a good karma. Right. So they can eat just apple and live happy and strong. You see, when I start to see that, you know, you can heal epilepsy mm -hmm. with a diet. Yes. So th there's no debate on that. You see, yeah. it's, it's science. It's, you can see people improving their health. Yes. And living. So I think people need to, to open more their ears, to listen, to see what is going on around. See, people can can heal their the problems, their liver problems, kidney problems, and yeah, I think we have a very, for this last, I don't know, four years, five years, we're living in a very special, delicate moment. I think the tensions around and, and the bullying and the criticism is, is becoming stronger. Maybe it's Kali Yuga. <laughs> It is really Kali Yuga because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, people, you know, the, the idea of, of leave and let leave. Yes. Take care about your own dharma. Don't judge the others. Yes. Even in the yoga community, and they're, they're judging and, and they're mm -hmm. uh, attacking. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think if, if the people are so wise, why they don't show them the perfect diet that we can live, I don't know, 150 years. So let's all 
everybody do that, you know. But no, when when something that I, I I saw just in the beginning of my transition, I was reading about the Okinawa Island in Japan. Yes, and, everyone talks about that. Yeah, and and they are not vegetarians. No, they eat a lot of pork. Yeah, I said wait. They wait. love the pork. Yeah, and then some some friends, some vegetarians said no, but they they live longer, not because their diet, because they're Japanese. <laughs> it's not because of the diet, it's oh. because the, the Japanese, they have different genetics. Yeah. So, but, but <laughs> there's always, always some skews, you see? Yeah. And as I said, let's, let's see what community are, are free from the symptoms. I'm saying like Parkinson's yeah. growing, uh, Alzheimer is growing. Yes. Personally, I, I have people close to me that are developing Alzheimer, wow. and I, I see what they eat. Mm -hmm. Like they eat bread for decades. Like how can you have you know your 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 brain healthy? Yeah, your you, brain is made of fat. Yeah. Primarily, if you are giving yourself all the sugar and the carbohydrate constantly, you're not your brain is starving and. That's what I think we're finding with a lot of neurological problems is that you, the brain is starved for those nutrients. You know, for me, I had a history of anxiety and depression where I was on multiple medications. And since eating a primarily meat-based diet with lots of good healthy fat, I don't need any medication for the first time since I was a teenager. And it's, it's kind of a miracle. And I hear stories like that all the time of people who um, don't have these issues with their brain. A friend of mine who doesn't have M her MS is in remission, um, bipolar, all kinds of these problems are in remission now because of the, the eating the fat and the meat, you know, and, but people are still resistant. You know, I feel like all we can really do is keep sharing our stories. Yeah, and also there's another thing that I already saw in this new community growing yeah, this, this carnivore-ish and yes. there are some people that they they don't they don't study about like what is the keto state or yes. they, they, like for example they, they want to eat uh, a steak a fat steak and eat I don't know just after a donut or ice cream <laughs> no. they, they, they don't realize that if you are doing this kind of combination, it would be terrible for you. It's more they say, ah, carnivore, it was not working for me. Ah, right. no, why? <laughs> because what we're eating plus the steaks, yes. they say, that's the thing. Yes. And then they say, ah, no, this is, this is not working. So if, I think everybody that I, I met that tried more carnivorous mm. they never came back mm. they, they, it's so i think you know in, in yoga sutras patanjali they says that the attachment for the life it's it's you can see the attachment towards life even yeah, for the highest sages mm. so we all of us we want to live Yes. All of us see. I don't care about. I don't care by, about my body. I, I I already heard that from yogis. I don't care about my muscles. I don't care about my health. I want to protect the animals. Hmm. So what you become when you are, you know, losing your your basic faculties mm -hmm. of decision, you are surrender. You know. And, and losing your intelligence because you want to protect your animals. Yeah. And like, how can you, you know, I don't know, produce your best, you know, creations and creativities if you don't have your your basic needs. Yeah. Agree. So it's, yeah. it's a controversial. I I think in the future, people at least start to consider more or or please more the others. I think yeah. um, 
bit scared of how people are, are closing themselves in different groups and they, they yeah. don't talk with each other. And for example, I feel healthy nowadays because I, I don't hate vegetarians. No, definitely. I don't hate vegans. Hate I don't, anybody. No. I, I, I want they, they be happy, you see. Yeah. If it's working for you, eating ice cream every day, good. Yes. <laughs> Eat. That's not good for me. <laughs> I don't feel good. Exactly. Yeah. I, don't, I don't want to impose that. I think everybody should do that. that. No, I, I'm doing that. I'm happy. Yeah. I respect everybody around me. I don't have any disease. So I, I do my best to protect the environment. I know that living here, I will have some impact in the planet. I will try to reduce that. I'm doing my best. But you see, I'm not, you know, preaching against or, or being aggressive. Uh, oh, no, you are eating uh, soya and you are destroying the forests and the soil of the planet. No. It's, you see, do your best and... What I realize is a lot of people that before were vegetarian and they are now eating meat again, they're healing themselves. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I, I already heard as well that, you know, the vegetarianism or, or veganism is for very young people. Like if you are very young, and, and partially, I agree with that. Because when you are very young... You, are, you can get away with anything. I yeah, mean, you, you really rock. can. <laughs> yes. If you, can, if you want to just eat ice cream all day, fine. Yes. Your body can recover and you can handle it. But exactly. once you get into your 30s and 40s, exactly. I, you, can't, it's, you can't get away with it the way that you could have before, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. The level of hormones you have, like... Yes. Uh, growth hormone, testosterone, all the hormones of thyroid, it's working so perfectly that you can deal with that. But I think it's not optimal. I think it's not optimal. I, I think if I knew what I know today when I was 20, mm. today I would, I would be even healthier. Yeah, Probably. same here. Same yeah. here, I wish. I was not respecting, you know, this, this basic need and probably I could have much better performance in, in my pr protecting better my spine, my joints, eating more collagen. Yeah. Yeah. But life is like that. Exactly. You learn and then you share your story and hopefully other people can learn. You know, that's what, when you have children, we try to tell things to the, to our children and raise them the right way. And, you know, I don't know about you, but I never listened to my parents until, <laughs> until my back was, up against the wall and I was like, oh, maybe they were right about these things, you know, but we just, we just live by example the best way that we can. And um, it's not up to us and it's not our job to police other people. And like you were exactly. saying, I, I'm, if someone wants to be vegetarian or vegan, that's fine. I'm, I'm fine with it, but that's just, for me, that's a, a not a good choice, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think the main problem, as I see nowadays for this community, as I said, is that people, when they, they tried some carnivore or something like that, a more ketogenic approach, they, they cheat so much. It's yeah, the cheat, it's, yeah, and then they blame the diet and they say it doesn't exactly. work. If you're going to, you can't do it halfway because exactly. you, you're, gonna, you're not going to feel good if you're just doing it halfway. You're really not. Not at all. I hope in the future having the basic education, you know, we should teach for the kids what is carb, what is protein, what yeah. is, I think, because I think I was learning that in the, in the, in the school. Yeah. But I, I, was, I don't know, I think I was not assimilating this knowledge, what really is fat, proteins and carbs, and how you can combine this, what your basic needs for example, I didn't know until recently that when you eat rice or pasta or bread that is very poor in vitamins, yes. transform those foods in energy, you need to uh, 
steal vitamins from your liver or from yeah. any other organ from your body yeah. because it's impossible to transform that in energy without vitamins. Yeah. So imagine if you don't eat nutritious food and, and replace your vitamins and you're constantly eating things that is uh, stealing your vitamins from your source. So it's not a, a surprise that after a while, that's why you see young people, they can deal because they are slowly becoming sick. And after a while, like maybe my example, after a while, finally, after do wrong for many years, yes. they, they are sick. Yes. So I, I was persistent trying to try to become sick. Yes, yeah. I understand. Well, I feel like I could talk to you for a long, many more hours, um, but this has been really wonderful. Thank you. And where Thank can you, people sir. find you um, if they want to follow you? I know you have a YouTube channel and Instagram. Yeah, my, my Instagram is Bruno Yogi. Okay. Bruno Yogi. And, and my YouTube that. channel. Yeah, my, my uh, YouTube channel is Bruno Bar 2. Most of the content is in Portuguese, but I promise I will, uh, even to my students as well in Denmark, I, I will produce more content in English as well. Wonderful. Well, I'll make sure to link all of that below the video so people can find you. But thank you again for coming and talking with me today. Thank you, Sarah.